kitchens and two instant check grills. The front, the back, and griller station. This is the front. Um, these are your soda bits or soda syrups that connect to the soda machines. This is your prep table right here. This is where you prep your tomatoes, onions, and stuff like that to put on containers as backups. This is your Dasani fridge. It keeps your bottled beverages in it. This is one of your soda machines. This is where you dispense the soda to the guests. This is one of your POS or point of sale. This is where you ring up the guest's order and have them pay for it here and then it'll go right to the back. This is another POS system or point of sale. Um, this is also where you would uh, ring up the guests. And this is your expo. After all the food is made and the back is made it and put it down to the slide, the expo runner will get the order, put it on a tray, and call out the orders for the guests to come and get the food. So this is the other Coke or soda machine for that one PLS system or point of sale system. This is your um, tea tower. It has sweet tea, sweet tea, raspberry tea, and poppin' pink lemonade. This is your icy machine. Um, where you get the ices, different flavors. This is another Dasani fridge that also keeps your bottled beverages. All right, so this is the office where the supervisors and managers uh, stay and do their office work and stuff. Every now and then they roam around. This is your three different little boxes. This is for your time off request calendars, your time clock correction sheets, you came a little bit later, or you had a call on shift, you put them there. Uh, along with the shift change form, if you do want to switch shifts with some uh, other things. Alright, this is good old pizza line. This is where you make the pizzas, prep the pizzas. It goes sauce, cheese, pepperoni, Canadian bacon, and sausage. After you have prepped the pizza and made it, you will stick it on this side. It will cook all the way down in about six minutes. Take it off the rack, cut it, put it here, cut it to six slices, put it on a tray, put it into this here pizza warmer right here. This is your ham line. This is where you prep like the buns for the orders, the lettuce, tomatoes, onions on it, grilled chicken, grilled chicken salads. Your extra stuff will be on here, like extra backup tomatoes, onions, and extra garden salads. This is your bun rack, it keeps all your breaded items on it, so bread sticks, slider buns, hamburger buns, and stuff like that. This is the employee window where you will, uh, on your break, bring up your order and get your food right here. This is one of the Coke fridges that we have for the extra backups of fry sauce, ranch, barbecue sauce. This is where the cabanas will come get their order. They shouldn't come back here, but they should get their order right here. So it's nice and quick and easy. This is Pit. Um, this is one of the stations you're going to be working at if you get scheduled in Surfside Grill. It basically goes popcorn, chicken, fries. You push this little basket button, it drops down, cooks for about three minutes and three seconds. Put it into this pan. There should be two up here one for fries, one for popcorn, chicken. Put them in the boat and slide them down. This is your extra freezer to keep your extra backup popcorn chicken, fries, pizza crust, and every now and then pizza toppings. Alright, so this is the hand washing sink. It's where you should go first right when you clock in. Come here, wash your hands, wipe uh, at least 20 seconds. And then after that, dry your hands and put on some gloves and go back to your station. This is your um, washing sink it goes wash, rinse, sanitize, air dry, and put them in the correct place they're supposed to go. Alright, this is Griller Station, it's another part of Surfside Grill. This is right as you come in, wash your hands, put on your gloves, and go take over for that one griller that's there. If you stay in a little bit later, just go inside and work together. This is your code line. Where you keep your meat items, your cheeses, so basically hamburgers, sliders, hot dogs, and cheese. Your extra backups of those, like boxes of extra hamburgers, your extra sliders will be on here along with hot dogs. This is where you'll put the meat when you're wanting to cook it, you'll cook. And then after that, you'll grab either a hot dog, hamburger, slider, whatever you cook, right over to a prep table onto the guest bun and serve it to them. This is a little bump bar system that 
once you serve the guests items, it'll you push a button, it'll clear on that TV that's right there. This is gonna be your prep table. You can I'm looking for the next big thing. I'm Hi, welcome to Beach Chef. We're gonna start out with this. This is our ice cream machine. It serves chocolate vanilla and swirl in a cone, cup and waffle cone. Over here we have our dipping hot serving freezer. We have six different flavors. They come in a small, medium, and large cup. Then over here we have our lemonade machine. It serves our fresh squeezed lemonade. We will always keep these two these two tabs on during the day to refrigerate it and have it coming out. Then over here we have our rack where we keep all of our cotton candy supplies like the flossing and our bags. Then over here we have our tea tower. This is where we have all of our teas and our pink lemonade at. Then over here we have our soda dispenser where we serve all of our soda, water, and soda water. Down here we have the ice bin. This is where we store all of our ice when we're serving it. Over here we have our cash register area. This is where all the people are going to be at to get their orders. We also have this new card reader. Then over here we have our smoothie machine. Basically we just put some ice in the top. We fill up the cups, put, it, put the flavoring in here, and then we let it run. We have many different flavors. Then over here we have our ice maker. This makes all the ice in this outlet. And there's ice in there right now. This is our novelty ice cream. This is where you get ice cream like blue bunny ice cream and popsicles. Up here, this is where all of our cotton candy will be stocked at. This is our new cotton candy to live. And then this is our cotton candy machine right here, and you have to be 16 years or older to use it. Then over here, we have our soda bib rack. This is where we store all of our soda syrups. Then over here, we have our icy machine. Um, now it manually turns on and off, so we don't have to deal with it anymore. Then over here we have our fridge. This is where we store both our fridges. This is where we store all the waters and drinks that we serve throughout the day. Down here in this cabinet we have all of our cups and lids. In this cabinet we have all of our dipping dot cups and spoons and napkins. Then over here is our churro area. This is where we have our new churro oven, which you also have to be 16 years or older to use. And then what you do is you put them in here, and then when you're done, you put them in the churro warmer so they're good to go. Over here is a popcorn machine. Basically, we just pour the mixture inside the thing and we turn it on in the morning and we let it pop. Then down here we have our last cabinet and this is where we store all the ingredients for things like sugar, cinnamon sugar, sugar bags and whatnot. Then over here we have our sink where we wash our hands periodically at. And that's it. Hi, welcome to Tropical Snow. So I'm gonna start over here. This is our snow cone machine, snowy. Um, basically, what you do is you take one of the spill stoppers and one of our cups, you're gonna put it under here at an angle, turn it on, and turn it back off to put the ice in it. The ice goes at the top. We also have a foot pedal, if you prefer that, and there's also a little well, which there will be a bucket here where the water drains out. Then down here we have all of our necessary goods. So this is our scoop to scoop out the ice out of the camera that we'll show you later. We have our chemicals down here. So we have Suma, Alpha, and our glass cleaner. Then right here we have our funnel to funnel in the syrups into our bottles. Then over here we have our sink. Right here we have all of our uh, all our bottles. Behind it would be the, is the menu that leads to the front. Uh, with, the with the bottles, you, what you do is use the funnels, put it on top of the bottle, and then you use one of the bottles down here to fill it up. Then, down here we have usually our spoons and extra napkins, and we also would have our extra receipt paper. We also have signs in case flavors run out, the ones that normally do, and our pens. We also have all the phone numbers and a phone down here in case we need to get to other outlets because you're going to be usually alone in here. Then over here we have our POS area, this is our cash register, and then our computer. Um, over here we have the two windows where you would get orders and serve from. Then down here we have all of our buckets. So they, this, this is how it goes. You get the first one and then the one behind it. You use the first one first and then when you run out, take it over to Beach Tide and remake the flavors and use the next one while that's happening. And then you get the new one and you put it behind. Then up here we have all of our extra bottles for when these ones run out if you can't, if you can't refill it in time. And then um, up here we have all of our powders for the, for the flavoring to remake them. 
Then over here we also have our fire extinguisher if you ever need to, There's, if you ever have a fire in here. Usually we have paper towel rolls right here. This is where you turn on the AC, the pump, and the lights. Then up here we have our daily charts for what you need to do every day or weekly. And then if we go outside, we have our camper right here where we usually have ice in it. This is where you store your ice for all, everything here. Then over here, we have our sign that will usually be out front. It has wheels on one side of it, so it isn't that difficult to get out. And this is Snow Cone. I'm living my dream, get started. Ain't never gonna miss a beat. Ain't gonna be broken hearted. Gonna leave my fear behind. Hi, this is catering, and this is where you should start off every day in catering by washing your hands, putting soap on, and then drying them off. And then this is a uh, catering prep table where you'll prep all of, uh, not all, yeah, all of your stuff, but a lot of stuff like forks or anything like that. And then this is all the catering utensils that you'll need. Right here is the charcoal where you'll cook like hamburgers or hot dogs or something like that. And then you have the star burner where you can boil stuff or, um, yeah. <laughs> so, and then you got the fryer where you'll be cooking chips in it and main chips. And then you got some gloves over here, so if you need them because something's really hot, you can use these. You got some knives over here, but most of them will be right here. And then you got the, um, the stove and the oven where you'll make cookies. And then you got cutting boards right here. If you ever need to cut anything, take one out and then you put it on the table right here and you cut them. And then this right here is where you'll be making sauces like nacho cheese sauce or pizza sauce. And then um, you're gonna need spices. So we have a huge spice rack with a bunch of me measuring utensils and stuff that you'll use. All these spices. And then we'll come over here to the fridge and you got all your stuff in Canada that needs to be um, refrigerated. And then back here is the freezer where you'll be freezing any uh, anything that really needs to be frozen. And then if you're ever cutting or if you're ever doing anything, you got gloves over here. So make sure you put those on. And then you got some pizza buckets and nacho cheese buckets and then the lids down here for nacho cheese and pizza. And then right here you have your Dippin' Dots freezers, all three of them, this one, this one, and this one. And then if you ever need cups or backup cups for like Dippin' Dots or beach side, you got these uh, Dippin' Dots cups up here. And then right here, <coughs> right here is mainly tacos kind of aisle. You got the chip buckets and then you got the uh, nacho uh, platters and stuff like that, some cups. And then you got some gloves right in the middle right here. And then some funnel cake, um, make some stuff to make funnel cakes with. And then you come back a little bit more, you got some cups up there. And then you got a lot more funnel cakes over here. And then on the other side, over here you got some, um, some ranch and stuff like that. And there should be pizza stuff right here, like, or nacho cheese sauce or pizza sauce, anything like that. Over here we have all of our cleaning stuff, like chemicals, any, uh, anything used to really clean, or like wash dishes, you can use any of these. And then you got uh, your soda bits, or your uh, soda boxes that you'll use for backups in any outlet that needs them. And then right here is our butt stick, uh, sticks. And you got some pots and pans over here. Some, uh, some of these right here for like salads and stuff for parties or catering events. And then you got the mustard bags and the mustard uh, and ketchup dispensers right there. And then up here you got some extra cups, um, all, all sizes, should have all sizes. And right here you got the ice maker for uh, catering events and stuff. Uh, use for drinks. Spud stick machine right here, and then um, uh, to wash off the spuds or the potatoes, wash those off. And then there should be a little sanitizing uh, mixture that you use to uh, keep them from rotting or anything. And then you have the uh, dish, the three compartment sink, 
where you'll uh, wash it, rinse it, and then sanitize it, and then you dry it over here, or dry it. And then we have a lovely radio that you can listen to music with, and then the phone if they call you, and then you got some cleaning utensils right here, like mops, but those should usually be outside. But if you ever need to fill up your mop bucket with anything or dump it for right there, use your mop sink. And then the other utensils are right here that should be on the wall, uh, hung up. Already made up my mind, and I'm not gonna waste my time. No, I'm not gonna waste my time. Welcome to the corn dog part. I'm gonna be going over some of the equipment in this outlet. So over here is where the computer system to take orders from customers will be located. Uh, when you're taking an order from a customer, if they order a drink, you need to make sure that you deliver out of the order window as a cashier. Uh, as for drinks, we have our four lemonade options, as well as the soda options, which will be located over here. Uh, after that, if they order a food item, you'll give them a ticket with their order number, making sure to write and circle and tell the customer their order number, and then placing a copy of that for the outlet. Uh, for any food items they order, you will present them out here. Over here we have the food holder, uh, where we'll store things like our cooked curly fries and corn dogs. Uh, when we're serving out funnel cakes or the deep fried cookies, we will cover them in powdered sugar and any of the coffees that will be located here. Uh, this is the chicken warmer, which will have our sweet and sour chicken. In the north side there will be the sauce, and then on the other side will be the chicken. And then over in the back here, we have all of our fryers. So here is the funnel cake fryer as well as the Spencer fryer. So this is what we'll use to keep the funnel cakes and then the sweat sticks just go in there. And it's really important to make sure that you watch the line of the oil in there and make sure that the proper amounts in order for it to cook in a tiny manner. After spud sticks are cooked, we put them in here, which will drench in any toppings and then the raspberries. Here we have our corn dog fryer, which is really easy to use. You just push the corn dog sticks into the place and then hit the timing button, which is located here. Uh, we have our fryers for the curly fries and then the chicken, which you just simply fill and then place into the fryer and then again hit the button. Uh, these are any of the tongs that we'll be using to get any of the food out. It's really important to store these at an angle so none of the oil gets trapped in here. And then we'll have a place for waste or any fried, loose fried food item parts that we'll just open the waste bucket. Over here we have the freezer and the fridge. The freezer will store things like our curly fries or our chicken, sometimes frozen corn dogs. So we unwrap them with the thawed corn dogs will go over here as well as any of the toppings, funnel cake batter, and stuff like that. And then back over here we have our hand washing sink, which we will use. 20 times in one day or a minute, I don't know. And then up here we have all of our cupboards and as well as down here, this will be where we store any of like our napkins, cups, plates, any extra seasonings and stuff like that. Uh, here we'll probably keep uh, the chemicals that we'll use to clean the outlet very frequently. as well as the ice bin. If you're a cashier, you'll be standing here. This is our till. The computers are used where you'll take your orders and get this, and you'll get the drinks. Then right here is our cold line. This is my possession of Subway's. We have our meats, our cheeses, and our veggies along with sauces. You'll make the sandwiches here and then give them to the customers at this window. Right here is our bread wrap. This is where we'll have white bread on the top and wheat bread on the bottom so you can make the sandwiches. Right here is our toaster oven. You'll toast the sandwiches if a customer asks. If you're under the age of 16, however, you cannot use this. This is our tummy yummy fridge. These are our little cake drinks that we serve here at the park, as well as our smoothie machine right here. Next is our fridge. This is where we keep all the bottled drinks along with our salads down at the bottom that we sell here at Subway's. Here we have our hand washing sink. You will be using this as often as you possibly can throughout the outlet. When you come up to 
come over here. This is our chip rack. This is where we have all the chips that go in our combos with the sandwiches, as well as our novelty ice cream freezer. This rack right here is our soda bibs. This connects the packages to our soda machine up at the front, and we will exchange them out if they ever run out back here. Right here is our fridge for subways. This is where we have all of our backed up food, our backup foods, all of the meats, cheeses, vegetables, anything we'll need in subways will be in this fridge. Next, this is our prep table. This is where we make all of the food and put it into the packages and containers so that we can have them ready for up front, as well as our cabinets up here, which will have all of our dishes for the season. Next right here is our freezer. This is where we have our novelty ice creams, our smoothie mixes, and anything else we will need, as well as corn dog may have some things in here. Over here is our sinks. Currently, we are getting a new sink like we have in Taco, but this is where we wash our dishes. After we finish washing the dishes, we put them on the rack right here, and this is where they will dry. We have three cork boards here in Subways, one on the back of the door, one on our freezer, and one on the side of the cabinets, and that's where we keep all of the events, phone numbers for shift changes, as well as calendars for request time. Off over here, we have our freezer, which has all of our frozen products, such as the pizza crust, pizza cheese, pepperonis, sausages, all that topping meat-wise. Um, over here, we have our fridge. Um, this is where we will hold all of the prep pizzas after you've prepped them throughout the day. Up here, we also will hold breadsticks, as well as salads, dressing, and any party salads for slice of funs or uh, summit plummets that we are doing that day. Over here we have our prep table which you can put the pizza crust box on top and then underneath we'll have your pizza pans that you will put through the oven. Over here we have the cold line which has um, your sauce, cheese, um, pepperoni, Canadian bacon sausages, uh, pineapple and olives all in here up top. Um, down underneath is just more storage for you in case you run out in your fridge. After you are done prepping the pizza here at the cold line, you will put it through your pizza oven, which is this big bad boy here. After it's gone all the way through, you will take it with the um, oven tongs, pull it over here to the cutting, or cutting area, cut it into six slices, and either put it in the Alto Sham up front or the pizza warmer um, for the guests. Here we have your storage rack. Um, on here you will see um, your pineapples, olives, as well as marinara sauce and nacho cheese for the pretzels, um, as well as spices and your chemicals. If you want to follow me in front? Here we have the Alto Sham. This is your backup warmer. This will hold all of your pizzas that have been cooked and cut already um, for the warmer up front if it runs out. Over here we have the ice machine, and this ice machine is shared between the two outlets, um, Subway Sandwich Shop and Paradise Pizza, so make sure you guys are sharing the buckets and the ice scoop. Um, over here we have the POS, or also known as the Point of Sales. This is where the guests will be ordering, you will ring it in, give them their ticket number and all that. Here we have the tea tower, of course holds all the teas and our public pink lemonade. Over here we have our soda machine and ice bin. Um, all of your soda syrups are located in a Subway Sandwich Shop. And over here is where the guests pick up their order after it has been completed. Um, here we have your upfront pizza warmer. This is where the whole cheese, the whole pepperoni, and a pan of breadsticks will be located at. And this is where you will grab before grabbing from the Alto Shake. Over here we have the Tummy Yummy Machine. This holds the sugary beverages for the children. Here we have our soft pretzel warmer. Um, after cooking the pretzel through the pizza oven, this is where you will locate it. It also um, will come with a package of salt um, for those who choose to have it salted. You will just spray it with the water bottle, um, stick it in the salt, and serve it to the guests. Here we have our two Dasani fridges, which hold all the bottled beverages that we offer here at the park, as well as our salads for those who choose to buy those. Here we have our icy machine, two flavors, periodically changed throughout the season, so some one day you can walk in and it will be different. 
um, sizes on those, a small, medium, and large. Over here we have our hand washing sink, which you should be using periodically throughout the day. Anytime you change your gloves, anytime you start a new project, wash your hands. And that is Paradise Pizza. Now I can say I got no fish. Hi, welcome to Gusta Springs, also known as Taco. This is our novelty ice cream machine, this is our rice cooker, this is our ice cream machine, and we include chocolate store and vanilla. These are our two tortilla buses, and this is where you'll be taking people's orders. This is where our chips go, our rice, beans, chicken, beef, Mexican fries, cold pork, popcorn chicken, and nacho cheese, and this is your hotline. This is your cold line, and we include lettuce, tomato, cheese, salsa, jalapenos, and sour cream. This is where you will be taking their order also, but for your cash register. This is our Coke machine. Our tea tower, tummy yummies, refrigerator, chair warmer, our two Dasani fridges that will include bottled beverages. This is our hand washing sink, our icing machine, and this is the back of taco. This is our ice maker, our warmer where we will be putting our prep food in, our prep table, our star stove, our fryers. And this will be frying tater tots and churros and stuff. This will be where we will be cooking our meat. Another prep table is our refrigerator, our freezer, and then this is our dishwasher, also known as a like, sanitizer. This is where we will be rinsing all our dishes. This is the mop bucket sink, and these are where um, our utensils go for cleaning. And that's all for talking. This is my year. Cart. So down here we have our normal serving freezer. It has six different flavors in it. We also usually have scoops for all of them. Now over here, this is our POS area. We have our cash register and um, our register thing is right down here. Underneath the cash register, we also have this little cabinet down here where we will have extra receipt paper. Up here we would usually have our dipping dot cups. We have small, medium, and large. We usually have nine of each one every morning. In here we have our store and freezer where we have all of the flavors in it. We usually have, I believe, eight bags of each one in here, so then you're ready to go whenever you run out of bags. Over here we have our AC. Uh, we, keep it, we don't set it below 70 degrees, so they stay cold in here. We have the light switch right here. And then over here we have our sink. Below the sink we have our two jugs. It has dirty water and clean water. Every night you have to uh, clean. You have to put new clean water in the white jug and toss out the dirty water because our sink doesn't work in here. Then over here we have another sink. More we store other stuff in here. And then over here we have our soap and our paper towels. We also have our trash can and we have our fire extinguisher here. Then up here we would have an, an, two boxes of spoons. We also usually have three three uh, napkins just to uh, have extras. This is our food of shame. Paper, extra paper towel rolls, and then we have our chemical stain in the back. Um, this is the Dippin' Duck Cart. Welcome to Cabanas 1 through 9. This is your drink station. Over here will be the POS. Basically, you'll put in all of the orders and then they'll go down to grill, which is how they will know what to make and what the customers ordered. Over here is the drink station. We serve Coke products and any uh, the person who's running over here will be in charge of getting the drinks for the guests. Here's the Sonic fridge. We have all the bottled drinks in it. Now starting with the cabinets. In here you'll have your utensil caddy, so basically wherever you find the forks and the spoons. In here will be the water pitchers for uh, each table on the cabanas, which you'll start off with each day you set one out. In here will be part of the soda bibs. Over here will be more of the soda bibs. <laughs> um, in these cabinets over here, you will find your ketchup and mayonnaise and mustard. Um, you'll find your ketchup and mustard. In here you will have your trays, your drink carriers, and even more patties. 
down here you'll find your aprons that you have to wear with the uniform and you'll also find the menus and the flags that you put on each table in the cabinet. Cabanas 10 through 15. We have three in the front, three in the back, and on the side here we have lockers for our guests. Let's go back and look at the patio. In this closet right here, you'll find your opening and your closing list, and also you'll have your caddies, your flags, your menus, your napkin dispensers, and your pictures. Now we're gonna head inside of each side. This will be where your uh, POS system is. So you'll take all the orders here and then it will automatically get run to grill or whatever uh, outlet it needs to go to.